Welcome to 3D Printing Basics, and we're almost to our final part of the project where we're going to make the G-code file that's going to um, be used to print our keychain. So the program that we're going to use is this called Prusa Control. So you're going to be able to find this in your start menu. It should be under the P, Elemento P, right here. Um, or you can also just search down at the bottom and type in Prusa and it should show up. This is the program, it's free. Um, you should have an STL file that you made in Tinkercad of your actual keychain. Um, if you don't, haven't done that, then you wanna go back tutorials and look to see how to do that. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Prusa Control and we're going to just drag on, you know, two ways, we can go file, import model file or if we want to, we can just drag our keychain STL file right onto the build plate. And this program works very similar to the other programs, uh, meaning that you can orbit, you can pull the actual um, the build plate, um, but the controls are a little bit different. Your left click and drag around does this. Your right click moves the actual build plate and your wheel your scroll wheel on your mouse zooms in and out um, so that's how that works um, so to do this we can look up here at the top we got to start here with material prusa pla if you press this there's a ton of different types of material prusa is just a brand name um, but it seems to be pretty good for most of the different filaments that i use uh, so I just choose that. Quality has to do with how detailed or how many lines you might see in your print. Um, I like just to use normal, uh, just to actually do um, so it doesn't take as long to print. The infill is how solid the actual object is. Standard is 20% infill, but if you need something that's a little more hard, a little more dense, you can choose one of these options here. Supports has to do with whether or not you have certain angles within your project. This right here is an angle kind of tester that we can print off at some point. Um, and it t this doesn't show you how it actually prints. This is just how the model looks. It starts to look a little janky around like 70 degrees. Um, 65 right around in there um the most the best thing is always 60. if it's more than 60 degrees if you have any part of your model that's um over 60 degrees it'll not print very well so that's why you would need supports um, and that's a lot of just trial and error you'll see which things work and what things you might need supports for a brim this is if there's not a lot of stuff that is on the build plate if you have a, not a lot of contact area you want to create a brim that way it will actually stick and it doesn't pop off when the 3d printer goes across it and puts the plastic down so we're going to leave no we don't need any supports for this because we have no 90 degree overhangs uh, we don't need uh, any brims because this is all flat there so then we can just press this button and generate. And this might take a little bit of time, but it will slice up your project and we can do a little preview by looking at, by pulling this little slider up and it will show us every layer as it goes up to the top. And our total distance is five me centimeters high. If we want to change the color, that's what this little plus button is for. Um, if we go up and let's say we want to have this color be one color there, we would press this button. And then if we want to change another color, let's say there, we could press there. So now we have three colors. One, two, and then three colors we could make for this project. And if we zoom in, we can kind of see where the color changes actually happen. Um, once we're done with that, it gives us a little estimated time that might take 30 minutes to print. Um, and then we would save the G code. If I were to go back real quick and I select this, I can change the scale. Now changing the X and Y and not having this lock thing, I wouldn't do that just because it would make it all out of proportion. But I've done this before to see if I was testing something, I could just scale it down and see if the print actually works before I would do the 100% and it takes more time. Um, but if I generate again, 
All right, so now I'm just gonna save this G code. I'm not gonna change any colors. I'm just gonna do one color. Um, but you're more than welcome to go in and change more colors and put as many as you want. Uh, we're just gonna save the G code. And we're gonna put it on the desktop. And that's it, we want the PLA normal and that's good. Um, and the save type is the G code. This is the type of file that you need for the Prusa printer. And then we're just gonna save. And that's it for this video.